what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will actually be a ranking video related to the jeepers creepers franchise in order of best to worst i've never done a ranking video for jeepers creepers i don't believe so this will be the first and probably the last until we get a new one if i'm being honest or that tv series that hopefully ends up being true in terms of that rumor that's out there so let's just hop into it because it's not that difficult for many of you probably to predict what my ranking is best to worst if you've been watching me discuss this series for many years now it's in chronological order honestly so i'm giving it away i don't care <laughs> just to jump into it obviously at the top jeepers creepers is undeniably the superior film in the series justin long's terrifying performance only amplifies that constant tension that is swelling up the moment the creepers truck is introduced to the film what the first film also does so well is it sparks this intrigue and fear surrounding its mystery that grows more insidious as it progresses while also still of course building up this strong sibling duo that you can grow invested in in the characters of Trisha and Derry Jenner, characters you can actually relate to, uh, root for. The mystery fear surrounding the ancient monster again grows stronger with each new detail that is teased, each new truck interaction that, it, that these characters have, and it dangles like this carrot regarding the thought to be what it, this thought about what this man's appearance is because it's a, a man not it's a thing that's not a man but many of us thought it was a man so it's dangling that carrot around the whole mystery of the creeper and the appearance by how it's shot prior to of course jonathan breck stepping off from behind the cat lady because it builds to that satisfying payoff again where breck steps out from behind the cat lady to reveal one of the most unique creatures creature designs ever from that decade now after after that the film did take a dip in quality but the first film is still a classic road horror film uh that effectively creeps you out because i it, it just knew how to do it without relying on cheap tricks like you see in today's horror films coming in at number two for me again chronological order <laughs> jeepers creepers 2 is second on my list this remains the best sequel the dip in quality though comes from the narrative trying to juggle a subplot related to a father seeking revenge in jack taggart that should have been your main focus because it is more interesting and more compelling and someone you actually can feel more connected to but it's juggling that and a school bus full of high schoolers that are underdeveloped for the vast majority of the movie other dips would include narrative decisions like like including a vision plot device even though a psychic character is not present so instead of giselle you have minxie who is a likable character but her visions don't make sense and this becomes a trend that sticks around unfortunately for the next two entries as well because we know that in the first film giselle was established as a psychic it wasn't really having anything to do with the creeper showing up and then visions just start from the second film Film onward it's like a it's like a thing of the creepers near so people start having random visions and it's like okay why so that suspense and tension that's felt in the first movie is slightly gone because breck's character of the creeper is more in your face here there's no longer that intrigue and that mystery surrounding what it is it's a solid sequel that's more interesting being an action horror with cool kills and a showcase of how the creeper operates more than anything uh it's very effective in terms of what it was able to accomplish at the time it was released it's just again a step down i would say many steps down in terms of how the quality was compared to the first movie because again the first movie could have been a one and done the cat's out of the bag so you aren't going to be able to recapture that magic because there's a certain magic that works so well with that first movie that i don't think you can ever replicate now going forward we already got the answer and what's so funny is that even though we got the answer when you rewatch that first movie that is still going to always be more effective than anything i think we get prior or afterwards in this franchise so going into number three number three yes never thought i would be saying this <laughs> the third best entry and complete misfire is the third movie in terms of again it lacks tension or suspense altogether whereas the second movie was lacking it this movie has none of that at all but it's not it's not the worst as we all now have learned this year breck was the highlight in this entry but the overexposure of the character combined with the lackluster effects the poor acting and a script that was just slung together with so many continuity errors kept this film as the worst entry for a few years and again until just recently now the creepers motivations related to that severed hand plot device they're honestly baffling because of the questions it raises around prior decisions in the first and second film made by the character 
three still features one of the most dull main characters as well in addison who has a cringy romance with a local boy in the area she has a connection to a character mentioned in the first movie and it's just something that isn't really all that compelling or interesting because i guess of who is portraying it and also due to how the movie is written uh instead of accepting that the mystery keeps things intriguing jeepers creepers 3 makes it frustrating by raising questions that it refuses to answer with the audience present waiting to have these answers it's basically teasing you with things that it's never going to give you an answer to and at that moment it's like okay that's why again the way the first film went about it will always be superior the first film was basically kind of just dangling the carrot of what is this what does it look like or who is that and then you get your answer this film is teasing stuff related to lore and then refuses to answer you so it becomes frustrating so why even tease that so just to come in at number four no shock to anyone <laughs> the worst entry is jeepers creepers reborn the movie that just released this year a poor excuse of a film that is over reliant on green screen which makes the presentation highly unconvincing and downright laughable at times the acting in three yes was bad but this was just abysmal acting compared to three I'm not saying, of course, you didn't have some highlights in terms of subpar acting, but just abysmal acting all around in comparison to what was being done in three. Writing decisions fail to make sense in relation to its meta aspects. The Creepers re reawakening is off, not waking up in the first in, in the appropriate year, messing with the 23 year lore because it's actually not 23 years, 23 years later because somebody can't count. And a pair of characters that go missing, even though in context of the movie, they should not be missing. Turning the creeper into a slasher doesn't help it either because the behaviors you'd expect from the character, they're absent for half of the movie and the characters we follow are so underdeveloped and uninteresting. The chemistry that they have or would have had isn't really all that something to grow invested in as much as it is something to cringe at, although they do have more chemistry as opposed to the romance we saw in the third movie. The effects are almost criminal as well, and the film <laughs> decides to borrow one of the worst decisions the Halloween franchise made because it introduced a cult of followers related to the Creeper who end up being more intimidating than the actual monster. The film also, again, by having all these illogical writing mishaps, raises several frustrating questions that you know they're not going to answer because they're plot holes. They're things that do not make sense and just again are frustrating to witness let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video